Hello guys, this is Caesar Creates and welcome back to my channel. Welcome after this short break. I know I haven't posted any video for a while. I hope you aren't mad or disappointed at this point because I promised a lot of new videos in my last episode. And it was a little over two weeks ago, so sorry guys. The Christmas break was very busy for me and also some personal things happened and I just wasn't in the mood for playing and for recording for you guys but hey, I'm back, I'm back on track, I'm super motivated, so let's do this! I hope you had an amazing Christmas time, amazing New Year's Eve I would like to wish you a Happy New Year because it's our first video of 2021 I just hope that this year will be better for all of us 2020 hit us hard, so I have some great expectations towards the 2021 and I hope that this unfortunate COVID situation will get sorted as soon as it is possible. But yeah, as I said, I'm back on track, I'm super motivated to continue making those videos for you guys, I have so many ideas for new videos, for new episodes for the uh, Elm Hill City Zoo and I think I also want to start some new project, a new zoo, uh, something more themed. So yeah, definitely stay tuned for that if you enjoy my videos. Our family of subscribers is slowly growing, but it's getting strong. And my hope for 2021 is that we'll get even stronger and uh, there will be more of you and I will be able to post some more interesting and valuable content for you guys. Okay, so let's move to today's episode. Today we are building a management building for our zoo, or a main zoo office as some of you may call it. Every zoo has and even needs to have a building like this, because the zoo staff are not only zookeepers, caretakers, vets and so on, there are so many more people that you are not able to see uh, when you visit the zoo that are sitting somewhere in the backstage and by this I mean, you know, the whole financial department of the zoo, the marketing team, the, the zoo director or the CEO or however you want to call him or her and all other people who do this amazing paperwork uh, when it comes to trading animals between zoos, getting new animals for the zoos, they all need some place to just go and work there. You know, an office with a desk. If you are an office worker just as I am, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. All of those people need a place to work and that's what are we building in today's episode. Even though we don't have such workers or staff uh, in the game, let's pretend that there are some <laughs> that will be using those offices. Uh, I put there inside the building the staff room uh, so that people will go there and you know we'll have some movement inside. I also put there the uh, the vet research building and the trade center. There is a building like this in every zoo. Uh, if you didn't see it, you probably haven't noticed because sometimes there are parts of, uh, you know, other, for example, entrances or other buildings. But I'm sure that in every zoo there is a building like this. In my local zoo, there is a building like this for sure. Uh, there is a plate. Uh, with, you know, zoo management here. So yeah, that's what I wanted to add today to our zoo. I think it's very important because we are going for this, as I said already a million times, realistic zoo approach. I also said many times that the Elm Hill City Zoo is like a combination between uh, old uh, architectural style and the new modern more renovated style. Uh, because the zoo is old, but it has some renovated parts. And this building, as you can see and realize already, is one of the older buildings. I was looking for some inspiration on Pinterest. Uh, of I was looking, searching for classical uh, building style. 
and I found a building uh, which this build is inspired by. Uh, when I found it I right away thought that it will be quite easy to uh, recreate in game. Uh, I had the pictures only from the outside so the insides uh, that you'll be seeing later in this video uh, is completely uh, like not inspired by anything it's just my creation but the outside is pretty uh, pretty much inspired by this build that I found I will put the link in the description uh, to the photo that uh, to this building that, I am, that I'm recreating. I think it's somewhere in the England. It looks really, really English, like one of those, you know, suburban London houses. I very, very like it. I think it suits perfectly to our zoo. It has this, you know, European classic uh, style which we are going for. So yeah, it was perfect for me to include uh, in our zoo as our management building. There's only one thing that I don't like about this build is that I wanted to keep like the original proportions of the building. I didn't want to make it too big and it was quite hard to put the path inside of it. Yeah, again me struggling with the path, what a surprise. Especially that I wanted to have the second floor there and the staircase now it needs to be very very steep. It doesn't look realistic uh, like any means. Uh, but yeah, that's what I had to go for and let's just pray that the staff won't break their legs coming down. But besides this, I really like this building. It's nothing crazy, nothing spectacular. It's just very generic and very like typical zoo office, which I really like. I didn't want to go over the top, make anything like modern glass and so on. I just wanted to go for a little cozy uh, brick building. Uh, inspired by the classical European architecture and I think it looks at the end really really nice. The most difficult part of this build for me uh, was definitely the inside but the, on the outside I quite struggled to recreate those uh, wide decorative pieces above the windows uh, that you can you will be able to see if you click on the link in the description to the original build uh, I was struggling to find the right pieces to make them as you could see I ended up like I had this sudden idea of using the letters that we have in game the alphabet letters uh, and yeah it was the first time that I used letters to any other thing that just you know creating words and writing uh, but I'm surprised that I never thought of it because uh, now I think that we can create some very interesting things uh, using the letters, the letter X for example and so on so yeah I'm I'm surprised that I thought about it and that it looks really really nice, looks good and yeah something more similar to the uh, things that are on the actual building in a second I will start to create this small garden uh, surrounded by this uh, low brick wall uh, in the front of the building. It's a nice place for staff just to rest, to go for on a break during the warm day. And the lower part of the building which I actually use for the keeper's hut. Uh, I think it was meant to be like a little backstage for this uh, larger building so in the end I put there as I said uh, uh, a keeper hut as well as some warehouse shelves and tools for the keepers later in the video I will also uh, create a parking lot for the staff uh, at the back of the building and a gate for them to enter the, the zoo and park their car there and for the first time I will try to give you a tour at the end of this video 
Uh, in last episodes, uh, at the end of every video, I included some uh, cinematic shots, just, you know, slow motion moving camera, uh, just to show what I've built. This time I will try to do a tour uh with me my commentary to it and so we'll see how this turns out i think it will be easier to show you guys the interior of this building uh just going there live with the tajit cam just to uh just more than you know showing you the cinematic shots moving the camera in those small uh places uh can be hard because there is no place to move it uh, so I'll try to give you guys this tour I hope I will be make, able to make it uh, because it will be my first you know talking live while playing uh, sort of thing uh, so yeah stay tuned to the end of this video to show to see uh, if I did make it or not, but I will do my best. And now let's take some time to talk about the new DLC, the Aquatic DLC, which we got some time ago, like a month from today, I think. I would like to share some thoughts about it. The thing that I like the most about the new DLC are definitely animals. I think the models are well are done really, really well as well as the diving animations that we uh, finally got. I think that they're super amazing, something that we are missing. So that two things are the best things that we got, I think. I am not entirely sold on the construction items that we got in this uh, DLC. I mean, I really like those new wooden panels, wooden uh, walls that we got, they are recolorable, you can use them in many ways, so it's always fun. I also really like the fake rocks, I didn't like them at first as I told you, but now I think that they are really really nice. Uh, something you will see in almost every zoo, uh, so it's definitely very useful. To be honest, I quite wish that we got more of the construction items, more of like more generic items that you could use in every build, like in uh, previous DLCs, like in the Australian one, you got those poles, those metal beams, uh, they really suit every style, they are really useful. Also the South America pack, uh, it got many many really nice construction items that I really like and I use a lot so I have high hopes for the future DLCs that they'll have more of those nice construction items that I will use a lot another thing I was really hoping for is that we won't get only five animals I don't know for me still quite disappointed to wait for such a long time for a new DLC and get only five animals I know it probably takes a lot of time to develop those models of new animals, but hey, I wouldn't mind to pay a little extra just to have like 10 or more animals in the pack. I really hope that in the future uh, they will release something like animal only pack when you have like 20 animals, not exactly like with the you no know, whole theme, uh, like marine or something, just only animal models. 20 of them or so. I wouldn't mind the uh, uh, remodels like you know other species of for example zebra or other species of giraffe that just acts the same as the models that we have in game they just look different there is some variance you can have like two types of zebras in one enclosure. I think it wouldn't be too hard to do uh, but it would allow more variation of the species and more, just more animals for us to play with. What are your thoughts about this, guys? Please let me know in the comment section down below. I really like would like to hear your thoughts about the new DLCs. Also, I don't know if you know, but there's a, like official forum of this game on the Frontier side where you can like put your ideas there. 
uh, your wishes for the future of this game. Uh, developers sometimes like seem to answer some of those uh, like threads on the forums, so I think they read it. So uh, it's definitely worth to like say out loud what you want in this game, uh, so that they can see it and they can. For example, like if they like your idea and if they think that it is uh, possible, they might implement it in this game. So, hey, let's just try. Uh, I am super like excited about the idea of eye theories. Uh, I think we are missing birds in this game, uh, like parrots, the paradise birds, uh, small birds in cages. You have them in every zoo. Uh, you have the aviaries in every zoo. Uh, so yeah, that's something we are missing and I really really think it would just add to this amazing game uh, Just to have them. So yeah, definitely let me know down in the comment section What are your thoughts guys? What you would like this for this game in the future? Just to keep the hype of the planet zoo going While I was talking I did a little trick that I learned from other YouTube creators that I can share with you now, guys. So as you probably noticed, you cannot put uh, benches, bins, uh, those picnic benches, like anywhere you want. You only can put them on paths. But there is a certain trick, uh, like you can make, you can just put a piece of the path somewhere you want the bench, for example, to go. Uh, then put the bench in it and delete the path and the bench or the bin will stay where you want it to stay. It's quite useful when you for example want to make some benches uh, like under the trees in your park and you don't want to have the paths because you know sometimes you just have the benches uh, just on the ground. Uh, the guests cannot use them, but only for the like, visual purpose. Uh, sometimes you'll have the benches, for, like for example, for the staff behind the buildings, for them to go outside to rest, to have a cigarette, for example. I don't promote smoking by any means, but that's just life. People do smoke, they go outside, they have to have a place to sit. So I also incorporated that in this build. And yeah, that's also trick for you uh, just to use in your builds if you wondered how people use benches and beans without putting the puff there. And now it's time for our fan facts. As I said in my first video, in every of my videos I will try to include a fan fact about animals or about zoos in general. I love animals, I am super interested about their life, their behaviors and so on. That's why I know a lot of facts. I also go to the zoos uh, every time I have an occasion to go. So I know quite a lot of stuff, I also read a lot of stuff online. And uh, in every of my videos you will find a fun fact about the zoos or about the animals. So let's go! In today's video we don't have any animals, so today's fun fact is actually about the architecture. The zoo architecture to be precise. Did you know that there are special companies that specialize in designing and building habitats for the animals as well as guest viewing areas and all those themed parts of the zoos? There are even architects that specialize in designing the habitats to suit the animal needs. I wish I knew that there was something like this when I was younger because it sounds like a perfect job for me. But hey, maybe it's not too late to start studying architecture. Okay, back to those companies. It is actually quite a difficult job because they need to take in consideration the welfare of animals as well as the visitors and how they will like they will be able to like see and view the animals as well as the staff and how the 
whole habitat will be maintained. So the habitat needs to be not only like suitable for animals, but it also needs to be entertaining and educating for the guests. But it also needs to be safe, because sometimes the animals are dangerous, so they need to like come up with the ideas of how to comply with the safety measures. Not only there are architects, but there are actual building companies that specialize in building the habitats. And there are even companies that specialize in building those fake concrete rocks and the concrete backgrounds for the indoor habitats. So yeah, that's quite interesting that the zoos like create new markets for the companies like this, because they simply need them. So some people see it as a chance and decide to open such companies and to create uh, builds for the zoos. And this is for me is fascinating. And now, while I'm still working on the outside of the building, let's talk a little bit about what's gonna be in the inside. So on the first floor, as I already said, there'll, there'll be two staff uh, rooms and uh, one vet research building, just for the sake of actual staff going inside the building and moving there. Let's pretend that they are actual offices where people sit and work for example a marketing team or a financial team. There are also some pieces of art like paintings on the walls and some vases uh, next to the stairs. In my head those are just some gifts that were like given to the zoo for its service from like other zoos uh, for trading with them. And there is also like a little canteen uh, for the staff, a uh, little kitchen with the table where they can sit and have just a break to eat something during their work. Upstairs there is a trade center there just for the as well as for staff to go there and also I put there two desks uh, for some workers working there and there is also a zoo director office there. So our zoo director he has a really nice and big office. He has his own desk and there's also a conference table for, you know, the gathering of the staffs where they discuss certain things and make big decisions for the zoo. But yeah, our director has a really, really nice office. You will be able to see it in a minute. In the interior of this building, I used quite a lot of things from the Steam Workshop. I planned to use them from the very beginning because I knew that if I wanted to build it all by myself it will take forever and this video will probably have like two hours and no one would like to watch such long videos. And I also really want to showcase, as I said earlier uh, in my previous videos, I would like to showcase people that work very hard to create those things. They are simply amazing and I want to like give big shout out to those people. All the creations from the workshop that I used in this video are listed in the description to this video. So if you want to use them themselves, definitely do it and support those people because they are simply amazing. Also, you can actually learn from this video how to use the Steam Workshop items because mainly there's a lot of stuff in one uh, blueprint so you have to split those things from the group just to move them and yeah, that's what I will do in this video. In the end of my beautiful speech, I would like to uh, say a few words about the future of this uh, Elm Hill City Zoo. I already started to record the next episode, so it will be probably uh, on YouTube by the end of this week. The next two episodes will include uh, new, two new habitats for two new animals. I won't say you now what are those animals, so uh, definitely stay tuned for new episodes. And after those two habitats, we'll build a big building that will include a couple of indoor habitats. Those kinds of builds are really popular within the Planet Zoo community and I would like to show you how I make them. So if you are interested in those kinds of uh, builds, definitely stay tuned for that because we'll be having something really special. 
I will be leaving you guys for a couple of minutes now. Please enjoy the rest of the speed build. I will see you by the end of this video for a quick tour of the management building. Please subscribe to my channel if you liked my video, uh, if you haven't already. Please give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below if you liked my video and ring the bell if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video. So see you in a minute guys, bye!
Hello guys, after this short break, as you can see I managed to figure out how to do this uh, tour, so let's start. Yeah, that's the way to go to our management building, as you can see it's there in its whole glory, yeah looking really nice, uh, here is our seal habitat on the opposite, so yeah that's how our building is looking uh, like right now. Uh, so let's go inside. Here is the little garden with the bench for the stuff. And yeah, inside we have those two offices and one in here. Uh, we have all those decorative pieces. And here is the canteen for the staff, uh, as I described, for them for a little bre break, to take a little break, to eat something and so on. Uh, Coming up the stairs, uh, we have those two desks for the workers, just to sit here, work here, oh, sorry. And here is our uh, zoo director office, the main and most uh, important office in the whole zoo. Uh, so yeah, here's the important person seat. 
uh, looks like this. Uh, here is the conference table. Uh, so there are those wardrobes, uh, closets for all the papers. Uh, here's this amazing printer for the work from the workshop. And yeah, that's how it looks. Uh, let's go down uh, and here for the back door. Uh, here we have the parking lot for the staff. Uh, so they leave their car here and go to work. Uh, or take this uh, like vehicle uh, for the staff and go and work in the zoo uh, so yeah that's how it looks and let's go quickly here and I will also show you the inside of the keeper uh, part of this uh, build uh, so there are some lockers for the staff uh, as you can see the staff member is going was working in there uh, here is like the a magazine, the warehouse for all the stuff. Let's like pretend there's this animal food or something. Uh, here are the tools. And yeah, that's how it looks. Oh, I forgot to put the door in here. So we have to go through the wall. Whoop. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that's how it looks. Uh, so guys, if you liked my video, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, please uh, ring the bell if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video. Uh, I'll be very very grateful if you give this video a big thumbs up, if you comment down below uh, what you liked about uh, this video, if you have any recommendations how I can improve my videos also uh, please comment down below. And I hope you liked it and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Bye, guys!